So here we go with a quick review on how to invite your parents from Seesaw, especially if let's say um, you have some of your kids in your class from a previous year, but you have a new group that's joined. You might have some parents on Seesaw and not others. So you might need to invite the new batch. So the first thing we're gonna do is in our Seesaw class, I'm already logged into my class. In the very bottom right-hand corner, you're gonna see this little plus families. So when you click on there, you have a number of options. One thing that you can do is you can print invites. So if you click print invites, you will get a PDF that's generated and it will generate a specific sheet of paper. This is just the overview page, but then a specific sheet of paper for each and every child. This is child 12, this is child name 13, and there's a QR code and information for parents on how to do it from a smartphone, from their computer, and how to do it if they have already used Seesaw before and already have a Seesaw family app account. So that's one way. So you could just print these and send them home with your students. If you use this function on a phone, it will email you this PDF. If you do it on a computer, it just downloads it so you can print it from here. So that's how you would use print invites. Another way that you can do it is you can get an invite link. And so if I send this link to all of my family, so I'd send this one link to my whole family email list. And then once they get onto the other side, they would have to choose their child and I would have to approve them. So that's another way to do it. Perhaps the easiest way is to just go through your list and add your children's parents email addresses here so when i add an email address i can put that in there i can add another family or i can even add a phone number that shows that i'm going to send a text to the family so when they get that um, by email they get a, a similar sheet to the print invite and i'll show you what it looks like here if i send it to their text number so in their text number, they get a couple different messages. So the first message they get is over here. It says your child's teacher and it gives me the name so I know we're in the right place, has invited you to their journal on Seesaw. Um, it tells the settings that are automatically there. I can change how often I receive it inside the app once I create an account. So when I click on this blue link, it brings me to a screen that looks like this. And right from there, it takes me to the Seesaw page where I can either create a family account, or if I already have an account with another student or my student from a previous teacher, I can sign in. So once I do one of those two things, it takes me right into my child's journal. And you'll see right down here, this shows me that I'm in child number 12. And it prompts me at that point to get the app either on the app store or the google play store so i click one of those buttons it helps me install the app right like that and within seconds those three steps those three screens you're led right through your parents are at the app that they need and they are installed once they have the app installed they can set the frequency they can choose to get a notification every time you post something you can choose to get notifications once a day once a week um, if you have other children, all children will show up in the same family app. And if your children are in two different schools, which is often the case with our hockey academy, where they're in the hockey academy, which is set up as a separate school, and then their regular school, both of their accounts will appear in that same family app, as long as you've used the same email. If you use a different email, it will prompt you to um, create a different account. You can have up to 10 parental units. Uh, do keep in mind that the teacher will have to um, accept each of those. And so um, it's kind of a safety feature. So you might have a little bit of a wait time while you're waiting for the teacher to approve. So that is how you would go to invite parents. So once again, in your class, you have to do this, um, should do this from your computer. It's easier. You go to plus families in the bottom corner, and then you can choose to print invites or email them, text them an invite. Uh, you can also check right at the very bottom uh, what happens after I send invites to families. There's a whole bunch of articles there. There's a video that you can watch. 
And um, after you type in a phone number or an email, when a parent accepts, you'll see that it shows that they are connected. If there were multiple parents here or multiple email addresses, you would see all the list of the items that are connected to that child. And so when I put a new email in here, um, this button goes blue at the bottom and then I click that button and that sends off the invite. So that is the story of how to invite your parents if you've forgotten how to do that.